We're now going to hear about the technical challenges. We're going to be helped to understand what is needed to have a strong and reliable platform that will enable us to deliver added value. We have already learned today that there is a real opportunity to improve patient safety, clinical outcomes and even operational metrics by introducing continuous monitoring in the ward. We might ask ourselves, why hasn't there been a solution before or why isn't continuous monitoring already a standard of care in the ward today? To really make the shift to continuous oversight of patients, there needs to be a complete solution that is adapting to the care area needs. We need to ensure mobility for the patients as well as for the clinicians. We need to make sure that patients are comfortable by introducing small, lightweight, wearable devices. We need to make sure we are monitoring the right parameters. As we've heard, continuous respiration rate remains or has remained an unmet need before we've introducing dual vector respiration rate with portrait mobile. Pulse oximetry to complement for a multi-parameter view of the patient status. Performance and reliability of the measurements is important to make sure that the care team does know when something requires their attention, but as well to minimize any nuisance in the workflow to make sure that the clinical team can dedicate their time to where they are most needed. These have been the design principles of Portrait Mobile. To fit into the care area by solving for the clinical need, as well as being considerate of the daily challenges in the ward environment. It is intuitive and easy to use, mobile and comfortable, robust and reliable. Portrait mobile to make continuous ward monitoring a reality. As we started designing Portrait Mobile, it became rapidly apparent that we would need to start designing everything from the ground up. We needed a new set of technologies. So we spoke with our customers and we drew upon 30 years of patient monitoring and we put that together to really define a brand new system design. Then we sought out the best in class companies in their field to partner with. We learned a lot from them. I think they learned a lot from us as well. And we put their knowledge and our knowledge together in a single medical system. The results of that has massively surpassed my expectations. One of the technologies we built out was Binder. That's our wireless protocol that talks between the parameter and the patient hub. It works a little bit like Bluetooth. But Bluetooth is a general purpose technology. Patient monitoring is anything but general purpose. We need something that was form, fit, and designed for the solution. We needed something that would operate in a noisy hospital environment. We needed something that would look at patient workflows and, and be able to make decisions on how that data is sent in an intelligent manner. We're constantly looking at different frequencies and different points of time and when to send that data. And we also needed a technology that would be able to work in that ISM band where Bluetooth plays, but can also work in dedicated medical body area network bands in countries where that is reserved. When we put that together, we have a technology that is really giving us wireless performance as good as wired. Another big part of Portrait Mobile has been testing. When you build new technologies from the ground up, you're going to be naive on how they work in real life situations. So to be frank, when I look at the product and I, and I marvel at its beauty, I also see the intense amount of work our engineering teams have done in the background to make sure that we have the reliability required when we're monitoring patients. For example, 
we did extensive computer modeling to understand the weak point of every technology. We took our patient hubs and our sensors. We have put them underwater. We have drop tested them. We have done repetitive mechanical testing on them over and over again, looking for the point at which they break. Often we would get you know, findings, and my first reaction was my heart would sink because I knew we had an issue. But I also felt pride and excitement that we found something, which we could then put in and better the product. We found things that we felt would probably not even occur in the hospital, but we fixed them anyway just to make the product more robust. As I step back and look at our product, I'm immensely proud of what our team has achieved. Not just because of all the hard labor and the hard decisions and the time spent trying to build this fantastic system, but because I know that all that effort has gone into improving patient outcomes. Portrait Mobile goes into the ward, an area which has been traditionally ignored, and we're gonna have a massive impact on those patients and our customers, and I'm super proud of that. So Carla talked about the importance of our dual vector respiration rate technology, and Oliver described the different pieces of the technology stack that are really enabling this system to work in the back end. But what I'm truly excited about is by combining these technologies, we're really going to be able to drive an improvement in patient outcomes, both patient outcomes and hospital outcomes. So a traditional approach to monitoring, we know that by the time deterioration is identified, that patient can be pretty advanced. That requires calling a rapid response team, maybe an ICU readmission. The difference with Portrait Mobile is by providing a view, and a continuous view, into that patient's deterioration, their current status, what their respiration rate is doing, what their SpO2 is doing, a nurse or a clinician can look at those trend lines and easily identify if they're holding steady, if there's a subtle deterioration that might not normally be perceived. And by identifying that deterioration early, then we can proactively intervene. And this really helps with a reduction in the number of rapid response team activations. It helps with a reduction in ICU readmissions. And overall, this is going to help reduce the total length of stay for some of those patients that otherwise would have had a long road to recovery and an extended ICU stay. So this is helpful for our patients. This is helpful for our clinicians, especially in the age of COVID, where you want to have better tools to monitor your patients, better tools to remotely monitor your patients. This continuous wireless wearable technology is really changing the paradigm in how we provide care and it's really driving impacts both at the patient level and the clinician level. And that ultimately has an impact on the financial health of the institutions that are adopting Portrait Mobile and caring for our patients. So we're excited about this. We're looking forward to more and more stories of positive outcomes derived from this technology um, and hope that you uh, are seeing the different ways in which this could really change your current care pathway.